to. And you'll know that not only am I an attorney, I'm a good one. As y'all can see from the title, this will be another update. And the case we will be reviewing today will be the Mari Scott versus Miss Black Titanic. The documents will be on the screen. We're going to get straight into the video. So as y'all can see, this document was electronically filed on 7-12-2024 in the Circuit Court of Madison County, Alabama. Maurice J. Scott listed as the plaintiff against Miss Black Titanic, who is the defendant. And she is also the counter plaintiff. And Maurice, along with OWN Network, are the counter defendants in her counter suit. Comes now the undersigned attorney for Miss Black Titanic counter plaintiff and provides notice and rejection of an untimely answer now deemed an omission under Rule 8 or ARCP and submits as follows. Number one. Ms. Black Titanic filed an original counter cross complaint on May 3rd, 2024. Number two, Ms. Black Titanic's counter slash cross plaintiff filed an amended counter slash cross complaint on May 6, 2024. Mr. Scott is the counter defendant duly served with the amended counter slash cross complaint. Number three, Mr. Scott filed a Rule 12b6 motion to dismiss for failure to state a claim referred to also herein as a motion to dismiss on May 17th, 2024 against Ms. Black Titanic's counter complaint, but not specifically against Ms. Black Titanic's amended counter complaint. Number four. Mr. Scott did not file any motion to dismiss specifically against Ms. Black Titanic's amended counter complaint. Number five, Ms. Black Titanic's amended counter slash cross complaint is a 47 page document containing 21 counts with each count seeking damages to include an inverted and specified $5 million. Number six, on 6-24-2024, this honorable court denied the Rule 12b6 motion to dismiss filed by Mr. Scott, the counter defendant. Number seven, upon said denial of Mr. Scott's Rule 12b6 motion, Rule 12a of ARCP requires and mandates that the moving party, Mr. Scott, file an answer within 10 days from this court's action slash order on June 24th, 2024, denying Mr. Scott's motion to dismiss. Number eight, Mr. Scott failed to file an answer 10 days after the court's 6-24-2024 order, denying Mr. Scott's Rule 12b motion to dismiss. Number nine, Mr. Scott has not filed an answer to Ms. Black Titanic's amended counter complaint. And the time to file an answer expired on July 5th, 2024. Number 10, Mr. Scott has therefore not filed any affirmative defenses against Ms. Black Titanic's amended counter complaint. And the time to file any affirmative defenses has expired. Number 11, Mr. Scott has therefore not filed any documents with specifically designated affirmative offenses, not even in his untimely July 11th, 2024 titled answer to the wrong counter complaint, leaving absolutely no affirmative defenses filed on the record for Mr. Scott. Number 12, Mr. Scott's failure to file an answer denying Ms. Black Titanic's 21 count amended counter complaint is in fact an admission as set forth by the rule of civil procedure. Number 13, the timely filing of an answer is not optional in this civil action, nor is it a legal argument saved for the future, but required under Rule 12b. Mr. Scott, however, is free to waive both his answer and affirmative defenses. Number 14, Mr. Scott is free to admit to Ms. Black Titanic's 21 count amended counter complaint, and Mr. Scott has clearly chosen to do so. Number 15, Mr. Scott is free to waive the timely filing of an answer and to leave unchallenged Ms. Black Titanic's 21 count amended counter complaint, and Mr. Scott has clearly chosen to do so. Number 16, the time to file an answer to Ms. Black Titanic's amended complaint has expired. The last date for Mr. Scott to file an answer to Ms. Black Titanic's amended counter complaint is calculated 10 days from June 24th, 2024, which is July 5th, 2024, the day after the 4th of July holiday. Number 17, upon filing a Rule 12b motion to dismiss the moving party, Mr. Scott knows and is responsible to know that an answer is due 10 days from the denial of such motion. Number 18, 
Rule 12 defenses and objections when and how presented by pleadings or motions. Motion for judgment on the pleadings. A. When presented, a defendant shall serve an answer within 30 days after the service of the summons and complaint upon that defendant is set for when service is made by publication and a different time is prescribed under the applicable procedure. A party served with a pleading stating a cross claim against the party shall serve an answer thereto within 30 days after the service upon that party. The plaintiff shall serve a reply to a counterclaim in the answer within 30 days after service of the answer or if a reply is ordered by the court within 30 days after service of the order. Unless the order otherwise direct service of a motion permitted under this rule alters these periods to time as follows, unless a different time is fixed by order of the court. One, if the court denies the motion or postpones its deposition until the trial on the merits, the response of pleading shall be served within 10 days after notice of the court's action. Number 19. In the present case, Mr. Scott chose not to file an answer, which would have been due July 5th, 2024, 10 days after this court's June 24th, 2024, order denying Mr. Scott's 12B6 motion to dismiss. Number 20. Miss Black Titanic has alleged in her amended counter slash cross complaint that Mr. Scott and own are individually, jointly and severely liable in Miss Black Titanic's amended 21 counter. I'm sorry, amended 21 count counter slash cross complaint. Number 21, Mr. Scott decided on July 11, 2024 to file an untimely answer only after third party cross defendant own appeared on the record on July 1st, 2024 to file a motion to dismiss Miss Black Titanic's amended cross complaint. This is significant going forward. Number 22, a motion to dismiss filed by own followed by Mr. Scott's decision to waive a timely response filing answer due on July 5th, 2024 is significant. Number 23. A 12B motion to dismiss filed by own when a co-defendant, Mr. Scott, has waived an answer and all affirmative defenses is significant. Number 24, a 12B motion to dismiss filed by Mr. Scott, who claimed wholly therein that all parties were fictitious, including himself, denied by this court on June 24, 2024, followed by a waiver of a timely found answer due 10 days afterwards is significant. Number 25. A waiver of an answer at a time in which an alleged employer or an alleged jointly liable party has filed a motion to dismiss Miss Black Titanic amended cross complaint is significant. Number 26. Regardless of the reason for waiving a timely filed answer, the position taken by allowing the waiver failure to timely answer is wholly significant in the case moving forward. Number 27. Even if Mr. Scott's May 17th, 2024 Rule 12B motion to dismiss denied could be considered or substituted as a timely filed answer, Mr. Scott did not file the motion to dismiss against Ms. Black Titanic's amended counter complaint. Number 28. Even if Mr. Scott's May 17th, 2024 Rule 12B motion to dismiss denied could be considered or substituted as a timely filed answer, Mr. Scott based his entire Rule 12B motion on the notion that all parties in his own defamation action, including himself, are fictitious and that his defamation action is a fictitious party lawsuit. Number 29. Miss Black Titanic's amended counter complaint therefore is unchallenged by Mr. Scott even in his own May 17th, 2024 Rule 12b6 motion to dismiss, which avoids the amended counter complaint altogether. Number 30, Mr. Scott fails to admit or deny the material allegation in Ms. Black Titanic's amended counter complaint, and that failure is therefore deemed an admission by Mr. Scott. Number 31, Ms. Black Titanic is required to clearly reject Mr. Scott's 7-11-2024 filing titled as an answer. 
Miss Black Titanic unequivocally rejects said untimely filing as an answer. Number 32, Mr. Scott therefore has no answer on the record and not even a motion that could substitute as a formal answer or response of filing against Miss Black Titanic's amended counter complaint. And then it goes on to list a couple of some cases and laws and we get to number 35. There is no such path available for Mr. Scott in that Mr. Scott has filed no motion specifically responding to Ms. Black Titanic's amended counter complaint, which could substitute for a timely filed answer. Number 36, Mr. Scott therefore did not and does not otherwise deny any of the allegation in Ms. Black Titanic's counter complaint, including being jointly, individually, or severely liable with own number 37 a complete admission under rule 8 and waiver of all affirmative defenses from mr scott at a time in which own has appeared as alleged co-defendant in this action is very significant number 38 is more case law so is number 39 and 40 41 42 43 44 and we get on to number 45 a complete Objection is hereby raised by Miss Black Titanic with no express or implied consent to any pleadings or defenses not timely raised or filed by Mr. Scott. Number 46. Equally, Miss Black Titanic offers no express or implied consent and accepts Mr. Scott's waiver as a full admission under Rule 8. Cites more case law on 47. 48. Miss Black Titanic accepts Mr. Scott's waiver and admission going forward as Miss Black Titanic must now timely respond to the july 1st 2024 motion to dismiss filed by third party cross defendant on and it states wherefore the above pleadings considered miss black titanic accepts mr scott's waiver and admission and makes her rejection on the record to mr scott's untimely document filed on july 11th 2024 titled answer now forming an admission to Miss Black Titanic's amended counter complaint and reserves the right to any other additional relief deemed appropriate. Respectfully submitted by Miss Black Titanic lawyer. So my opinions and commentary on all of this, y'all, I think Maurice has fucked around and found out. I think he should have just left it at the point where the content creators removed the videos. You asked that they remove the videos. You did ask for a public apology however they did not issue you a public apology but they did remove the videos and i think it wasn't worth going to court we haven't gotten far along in the case to the point where he has to prove what was stated about him was false but i will say he should have just left well enough alone they removed the videos you should have left it at that it's not it's not worth the money he is now having to dish out to defend himself and he really should have went and got an attorney because in my opinion, this attorney for Miss Black Titanic has been dragging his ass since she stepped on the scene. It doesn't seem that Maurice is very confident in what he's doing, and those are my opinions. He went to this law school and he graduated. What did you learn there, sir? And all of his errors, and he's not even filing the documents that he is required to file. He's not keeping up. You brought it on yourself. Let me know what y'all think down below in the comments. Don't forget to like the video. I'll see y'all in the next one.